Hi everyone, my name is Michaela. I use she, her pronouns, and I work for the Penrose Library in the Pikes Peak Library District. Today, I am going to show you all how to make styrofoam relief prints. And for anyone who might be unfamiliar with printmaking, it is an art making method that relies on being able to make multiples. So from one drawing or one um, piece of artwork, basically, you can create um, several different prints that you can turn into greeting cards or give away to your friends or just have around if you like. Um, that will all become more clear in a little while, but the things that you will need for this project are styrofoam. Um, if you have styrofoam plates around your house, those will work perfectly fine. I am using a styrofoam to-go container. The lids of to-go boxes work really well for this. Um, so that's the first thing you'll need. You will also need a pencil, scissors, a foam paint roller, um, if you can't, if you don't have one of these around your house, these are really easily found at a craft store or a hardware store. Um, a foam paintbrush will also work in a pinch, but the rollers are a little, a little bit better for, for this specific project. Um, you will also need two kinds of paper. You will need drawing paper. Um, I'm using what I have in my sketchbook just because that's what I have on hand, but computer paper, lined paper, or graph paper will also work um, just as well. Uh, anything you can draw on is perfectly fine. And then the other kind of paper that you will need is something a little bit thicker. Um, computer paper will also work, but if you have cardstock or construction paper lying around, that will work best for this ultimately. Um, and the last thing you will need is acrylic paint. Um, this is the only color I have lying around my house right now, so we will see how this copper color works out. Um, but acrylic paint is the last item. Oh, and then of course, um, newspaper or a tablecloth to cover your workspace so you don't get paint everywhere. Um, so those are the things you need. Collect all of those things, and then when you're ready, come back. I will turn my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing, and we will get started. Okay. So the first step in creating a relief print is figuring out what you want your print to be. Um, so you're gonna have to draw or trace something that you wanna print or figure out some way to draw something on paper. Um, I already did this to save a little bit of time. So this is my drawing. I decided to do a dragon um, in sort of celebration of summer adventure this year and the theme being imagine your story. Um, so go ahead and figure out what you want to draw. You are more than welcome to draw this if you want. There will be instructions um, linked, I believe, in the description, so you can so you can copy this as much as if you like to. Um, and then once you have your drawing, once you figured out all of that, set that aside. And the next thing that you're going to do is cut out a flat plate out of your styrofoam. So whether you have a plate or a um, like an actual round plate that you eat off of or a to-go container like me, what you will do is you will cut out a square out of the bottom here um, using your scissors. So I've already done that step. As you can see, I had another to-go container that I cut a square out of. Um, and I did that because it's a little loud and really obnoxious and I wanted to save a bit of time. So this becomes flat and then we are good to go. Okay, so once you have your styrofoam plate and you have your drawing, the next thing we have to do is transfer the drawing to the styrofoam plate. And one of the easiest ways to do that is by entirely covering the back of your drawing in pencil. So like I've done here, again, I did this to save a little bit of time and also because I wanted to test this out so um, to make sure that it worked. But basically you hold your pencil at an angle, you shade in as much as you possibly can covering the entire back of the drawing in pencil. Make it as dark as you can too because the darker the better, um, the darker the better that this will transfer onto the styrofoam. So once you've covered the back of your drawing in pencil. What you do is you place it on top of the styrofoam plate 
and you trace your drawing. So keep tracing. Press as hard as you can because you want as much pencil to show up on the styrofoam as possible. And then once you think you've gotten all of your lines, you should see the transfer. So this was actually a really good piece of styrofoam because the drawing showed up really well. Um, and that's what you want. The lines might look a little bit lighter. I hope you all can see this because it's gonna be pretty light regardless. Um, but this is actually looking pretty good. So once your drawing is transferred, then we want to draw straight into the styrofoam itself using our pencil. Um, drawing at a bit of an angle helps a, helps a little, um, but basically you just want to carve directly into the styrofoam, creating grooves. You don't wanna press so hard that you punch all the way through the styrofoam. You just want to press into it enough that when you print, paint isn't going to end up in these lines that you're creating. And once you have that, we're ready to start printing. So in order to print, you will need your acrylic paint. You will also need some kind of palette. So I have another to-go container lid that I, would, I used for a test earlier. Um, and then your paint roller. Um, and the only thing you need to do is pour a good amount of paint into your palette I hope you can see this. I will center this a little bit more. Pour that into your palette. Roll your roller in it. You want a good amount and you wanna make sure that your roller is covered completely. I might actually need a little bit more. Okay, once your roller is good and covered, we wanna transfer the paint onto the plate that we did. So you just wanna roll and you wanna go over it a few times. Get as much paint on there as you can. You might get it on your fingers, that's okay. Cover the whole thing in a really good coat of paint. All right, once you think you have enough paint, set your roller and your paint and your palette aside and pick up a piece of the cardstock or the construction paper or whatever paper that you want to print on. I'm gonna set it down right here, even though it's a little bit of a mess right there. And then what you do is you take your plate, you flip it over, so paint side down on the paper trying to center it as much as possible. 
oops, I think I smeared it a little bit. And you rub it, you press down. And then you pick that up and you should have a print. So when I was printing, um, I accidentally moved the plate a little bit because I had a little too much paint. So that was a good learning curve. Um, but you see that the paint didn't transfer to the paper wherever there were white lines. Um, so these got filled in because the paper moved. So let's try one more and see how that one turns out. All right, that one was a little bit better. Um, it might take some practice to fill in all of the white space to know when you have enough paint on. There's also a flaw in my um, in the styrofoam lid, so there's like a fun little circle right there, which is totally cool. Um, I don't mind that at all. But that is basically how you do a relief print. Um, you can let this dry, you can cut off all of the white space if you want. Um, and continue to do that. You just repeat the process as many times as you want to, and you can do different colors, you can do um, different designs, it's totally up to you. So get creative um, and show us what you do with this. Um, tag us on social media and uh, definitely let us know how this program works for you. Um, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.